You ready to play? So I'm gonna show you guys how to get this look right here. These curls, this hairstyle that I wore at BeautyCon, and this makeup look. I did this with the help of Nume and Valetto. They sent me some cool stuff that I got to play with. So let's play! Right here is this cool Bilotto studio, eh, studios, studio <laughs> airbrush makeup machine that, uh, I'm not lying guys, I'm in love with this because it makes your makeup look like skin. So let's get started and let me show you how I did this. So first they give you the airbrush makeup and let's just power it on. And they have a low mode, medium, and high. I'm going to use it on medium because I don't want too much to spray out. This right here is the foundation and you have to make sure that you shake it up. It has like two balls in it. Yeah, get your mind out the gutter. But <laughs> you have to shake it up before you use it or put it into the airbrush uh, gun. And this right here, the further back you pull it, the more of the foundation squirts out basically. And you probably want to hold it at least like six inches away from your face because if it's too close, too much of the airbrush foundation will spray in one spot and it will not look good. I don't know if you can see that right there but it's spraying out and it's perfect for all skin tones. You can mix and match like for me I know I have a really really yellow undertone so I can take a yellow eyeshadow put one drop of it in with my foundation and bam my perfect color. And not only that is perfect for when you're going out you want to you know, and you want to take pictures with your friends and you don't want to look like a ghost or like you have a mask on. That's the issue that I struggle with. So it's perfect for things like that. You won't look like a ghost. It really looks and it feels like skin, which I was surprised because I thought it was going to feel like a mask and cakey and just, I don't know. Because when you first put it on, it does feel a little weird. But trust me, it's perfect. And the cool thing about it, for... You girls out there, like me, who are struggling with acne scars, or acne in general, this is perfect for acne prone skin because you're not using any disgusting, contaminated brushes. And if you have really bad acne scars, this will cover it up no matter how much you spray on it, you will not look like a cake face. Now I'm not gonna lie, it does take a while to master it, but once you master it, trust me, it's gonna be so easy. Now I'm just filling in my eyebrows with this e.l.f. Treat and Tame. I'm in love with this stuff. If you are on the go and you need to do your eyebrows really quick, this is that stuff. Alright, so now I'm going back to the Boletto and I'm using this blush that they gave me just to liven up my face a little bit because I do look dead. I know. I don't mean to scare you. I know. I don't know if you can see on my cheek, but you can see the pink is showing up. And this is when you want to lightly pull back on the gun because if you pull back all the way, you're going to end up hurting somebody. I'm just joking, but if you pull back too much, you're going to look crazy. So now you can see my blush. And now another cool thing that you can do with airbrush makeup is you can use it as lipstick. Hala. So I'm going to spray this on my lips on top of the foundation that I sprayed and, and it created this cute, nice, subtle pink, natural pink lip. I'm like in love with this color. Oh my gosh, it looks so natural. And as you can see, I'm getting excited. But now I'm going to try out this other product, which is a Jordana. Um, eyeliner pencil and normally you guys know I always use liquid ugh, liquid liquid liner but I'm in love with this pencil because it really does last for 12 hours I think it lasts longer and the cool thing about it is when you put it on it's a really creamy consistency it's just like a normal eyeliner pencil but it dries so it's basically like a liquid liner but in a pencil how cool is that so you know like I said for those of you who are on the rush or on the go and you don't really, you just don't spend a lot of time doing your makeup and you want to put a little liner on but you don't want it to smudge, this is that stuff. Make sure you check the description, I will put all the info in it, I know you guys ask me a lot of questions about where I get my stuff, so just make sure you check the description box and again, if I ever forget anything, you can just yell at me and say hello Ray, you forgot. So now I'm going to take, um, well, I just took 
the other Jordana pencil. It was in brown and I put that on my bottom lash line. But of course in this scene, um, this was before I did it. You know, you know how I am guys. I'm all over the place. And um, I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and put this mascara on. And put some mascara on my bottom lashes. Don't worry, you will see the, the bottom, uh, I can't talk, I'm hungry. You'll see the liner on my bottom lash line soon. <laughs> I'm also going to take this e.l.f. highlighter that I just got. I'm trying this out. It's so cute. Normally I don't like pink undertone highlighters, but I'm really liking this one. So I just, you know, put that on my cheekbones and my nose and my chin and above my lip and um, on my brow bone. Just experimenting, guys. This is playtime. And now it's time for the hair. And there goes the liner on my bottom lash line. <laughs> All right, now this is cool. It has different temperature settings. Yeah. And it's cool because with the different temperature settings, the higher you want it, the color will change to red. If you want it somewhere in the middle, it will be green. And if you want it the lowest or the coolest, it will be blue. And they also gave me this glove so I can protect my hands from getting burned. Since a lot of that happens when you're using a wand. Now this wand, I'm sorry, but it's pretty cool because it has dual voltage, so that means you can use it in different countries. Lago. Now depending on what kind of curls you want, if you want tighter curls, you want to take a smaller chunk of hair, and if you want waves or spirals, you can take about an inch. Right now I'm taking about an inch of hair and I'm just wrapping it around the barrel and it's creating these beautiful spiral curls that are kind of looser at the top but tighter at the bottom. Right now I have mine on the low setting and if you have it on the low setting it will be blue and I'm whipping my hair back and forth. <laughs> a lot of you guys asked for this hairstyle when I posted a photo from BeautyCon. This is the BeautyCon hairstyle that I did and I used this iron and it was quick and easy. And make sure you wear the glove please. I can't stress that enough because I've burnt myself before even though I'm a thug and you know it was all good in a bag of chips and I moved on but for a lot of you you don't want to continuously burn your hand and the perfect thing about the glove is the technique that I do is after I wrap it around I will slide it off of the actual barrel with the glove and hold it in my hand of course the hand that's wearing the glove and it will create a tighter curl and then your curls will end up looking a little something like this. I think I'm digging these things. I hope you guys enjoyed this playtime video. Nope, this wasn't a tutorial. Thumbs up if you want more playtime videos. And make sure you comment below and let me know what you want the next video to be. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye. Deuces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.